You're not alone here! I uh, know, yeah, I gathered that. There's a bunch of ghosts out there in the woods. They're all dressed up in sheets going moo. Little girl scout? Where's those thin mints I ordered about a month ago, huh? I never got them. <laughs> That's new. All right. I guess I'm locked up. Ooh, okay. Oh. Secret door. Oh my gosh. Um, guessing this, yeah, doesn't work. Okay. Uh, yeah, that does nothing. Hey, what the heck? That was open. I thought I was gonna get to go through a secret door. This is bullshit. Oh, I need a book. I gotta put it on uh, the switch, I guess. There's so many books, just take one. Or really anything that has some weight to it. Oh, there's no door in here. What? Who's there? Who the fuck? <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Stop doing that! Jeez. Okay. Oh, thank you. I mean, you didn't have to blow out my light, but thanks for the tape, I guess. She's close. Never mind. <laughs> Don't take. <laughs> no, thank you. No! Oh my gosh. Ah. <sighs> so mad this game keep doing this shit to me you can't keep doing this my heart this is not healthy <sighs> okay let's go bro watch out behind you I don't like that. I don't like any of this. Okay. Uh, can I go around this box of tapes? <laughs> I cannot pass. You good? You okay? I can't come through here either. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so annoying. Okay. What the? Hey, this is the first tape I found. The first episode. What the? Let's watch what the. Okay. Do I have a light? No, I do not. Okay, fine. I'll keep it off. Who's there? Mom? No. Mom? I ain't you, Mama. Mom. Mom. Mom? That's not good. Behind you! Bro, behind you! She ruled Mary. It's kind of hot. I can't have this. Oh, I guess I need a lighter or something. Murderer. Yo, uh... All your art's upside down. Look, I don't want to have to tell you how to decorate your house, but, uh... This is wrong. And this is also wrong. Hate. Bastard.
Jesus. Oh, oh, it's one of the trick candles. You got me. Something happen if I keep blowing it out. Let me get right up on it. No, nothing. Okay, fine. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Oh. Oh well, this is open now. I'll just, I'll just take that. Thank you. Key to the door. Not that door, apparently. Not this one. Hi there. Um, hmm. You okay, Mary? You doing good? Help! Help! I would help you if I could. <laughs> Jeez. I'm in as much trouble here as you are, Mary. <laughs> oh, I can't help you. I'm so sorry. I just want to leave. It's really all I want. Hey. <laughs> uh, hey. Um. got a family picture here you guys really need to rearrange this furniture maybe clean up a little bit this place is disgusting disgusting look every hallway is blocked up Oh. Are you okay? Oh no. Oh, that's a small body bag. Oh no. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll go to my room. What's all this? I have no idea. Oh, I guess I'm going to bed. All right, sweet. Don't know how I can sleep in this house, uh, but sure, yeah, let's let's go. September twenty-six, nineteen ninety-seven. I was just a baby. Scribbles on the wall. I was told that there was nothing in that house. Oh, there's the little symbols. Nice. I uh, have no idea what they mean, but that's fine. Oh, great. Now I'm stuck in the room again. What am I supposed to do? do? I zoom in on stuff. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Key to the drawer. Oh, help me finish what you started. I know you figured out how to end it. It feeds fears and emotions. My loved ones are in danger. Okay. So this thing is some kind of malignant spirit that just haunts anyone that lives in this house. It's fucking terrifying. Oh my gosh. It's like Amityville Horror, but, you know, real, like, <laughs> not, not just murder. Hmm. 
Patient name Frank N. September 10th, 1997. Medical psychiatric history. Okay. So age 34, profession detective. Diagnosis, paranoid schizophrenia. Extremely dangerous. Okay, since 1997, he has been in a hospital declared insane. Anomnes vitae. Written from the patient's words, I was not guilty with what happened. Mary, spelled wrong, became dependent on antidepressants, and an evil knew that she had become vulnerable and seized her. She was compelled to kill our child, and afterwards she did away with herself. I was determined to stay in the home and get rid of the evil. I sealed up the doors and windows with nails and boards so it would not find itself new victims. The police stopped me from completing it, and you did not believe me or my investigation. I knew this was an influential cult that now exists, and their people are in our, mi in our midst. They continue to kidnap children and other people. They did not give Mary any chances and sent me away to prison. When my wife couldn't pay for the apartment, social help offered an old house that nobody had lived in for a long time. Everything had happened to me, and which I saw in that house, has appeared to me in my nightmares. Every day is a hell that does not stop. It doesn't leave me. It didn't leave me. It's here with me. Locked up. Okay, okay. So is this bald guy, is he a detective? Is that who this report is talking about then? Frank? Frank N? So, it, it, whatever happened here drove him insane. Hello? That'll show him. I'll just tell him no. Fuck off. Wait, is that it? No way. Okay, well, that's it, apparently. I thought there was gonna be more. We had three chapters left when I finished the last video. And so far, like, three chapters has been, like, 20... 25 minutes of gameplay, which is perfect for video, you know, like that's it. So I, I just cut it up into like three chapter segments, right? Because I had it all planned out because I'm, I'm a genius, right? But the last three chapters was like 10 minutes of gameplay. So, well, apparently there is just an evil spirit that lives in the house. It took over Mary uh, whenever she was vulnerable uh, when she started taking antidepressants, convinced her to kill her daughter. Uh, this detective was looking into it. He was trying to take care of the house and like board up everything and get rid of the spirit and make sure nobody else was affected by this thing that was haunting this house. Uh, he went insane. The family that moved into the house after that contacted him in the psychiatric hospital and was like, hey, we know, we know there's an evil spirit here, okay? And we know you know, and we believe you're not crazy. So you have to help us. You gotta help us, like, figure out how to deal with this shit because our family is in danger, right? So, yeah, that's crazy. That's awesome. Uh, the story really kind of comes together there at the end. A wild ride. <laughs> uh, spooky which I like, that was good. And yeah, overall, like, good job. Good, 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 I loved it, good. <laughs> okay, well, that was a short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you again next time. Take care.